Coach, your team has completed a rugged three-game non-conference schedule. Uh, you probably should have won against Shiloh, certainly had the chance to, look good at times against PA, and ran into a real good Camden team. Uh, do you think your team's learned and made some progress? Well, you know, it's hard to say right now as far as, uh, you know, the, uh, where we're at as a football team because of, of the three teams we played. Uh, I feel good that we did improve in areas, and uh, you know, Shiloh was, you know, we had a chance to win. PA, we did a lot of good things, and then last week we were so beat up going in that you know we really didn't have much to, to, to you really couldn't judge that by any means of of where we were at as a football team. So you know, we're excited about you know going into conference this week. Uh, we know that uh, you know we, we've gotten we've gotten better in some spots, and and we still got to improve in some spots. But we're excited to play uh, to play some money in four A football. Well, you, you mentioned about being beat up, and obviously you did have a grueling three games there. How is the health of the team overall? What's their status? Um, we got some back this week, uh, and we're still missing some. And, uh, you know, it's just going to be a, a, a process. You know, by week seven, we should have everybody back. So, But we did get some back this week. Very good. Well, looking at the stats and, and just watching the games, it looks like your running game has struggled the past couple of weeks uh, compared to what it did against Shiloh. Do you see it ready to break out and get back on course? Well, that was, that, was, some good backs. that was kind of by design. Um, you know, uh, he had 23 carries against uh, Shiloh, and then against PA, he got hurt on the first series of the game. He, he tweaked his ankle and... Uh, they had seven, eight guys in the box, so we didn't want to, you know, keep pounding him in there. We know what he can do, and he only had eight carries that night. And then last week, uh, we didn't even have many game plans as far as running the football. Uh, we wanted to just get in there. Uh, we knew they were a lot better than we were at the time because of our injuries, and we had to make a shift to the offensive line going in. We didn't have a, you know, we had to move a tight end to right guard. You know, we had to move another guy to center. So. We weren't going to sit down and let Calais run, you know, 20 times behind that. So we just kind of eased back from, from him running the football. It went to an empty set. I don't know if people know that. We, we, was, we was five wide a lot, and that was just something that we did just to make it through that week because of the injuries. Well, you've also, uh, I heard you say in the past a few weeks, you haven't been totally pleased with your passing game, which is uh, very important, obviously, to your offense. Uh, how are you working on that to try to improve it and, get it going like we have in the past? Well, you know, we, we've worked on it every day. It's, it's just not improved. We keep dropping. When we do have success throwing the football, we drop it. So you know, we just keep focusing on that. We move some guys around. And and then, uh, you know, our running game's going to help that out a lot too. And, and I think that's, you know, something that we went back to or we were going to do. We we got away from it against PA because he got hurt. And then against uh, against Camden, like I said, we, we wasn't trying to run the football. We, you know, they were they were a lot, you know, up front. We Our kids wasn't ready to block that. And, we didn't ask them to do something that they weren't going to be able to do. So, uh, you know, we're going to go back to a more balanced attack this week and, and hopefully be able to do both. Well, let's switch over to the defensive side. How do you think your defense overall has developed and, and made it through the first three games? I think when they're healthy, they're real good. Uh, you know, some injuries have really hampered us uh, with Tyler Barnett being out for the last couple of weeks uh, and then with Adam Nolan being out and, uh, and then, you know, just beat up, some guys beat up. I think that, that uh, you know, it, it shows when you had to put younger guys in there that's not played that position, and that's the biggest problem right now. We're having to move people around that, to play different positions that haven't played that. And, uh, and then last week we played a really good football team, a really good athlete in, in, in number five for Camden who, who made us look bad at times. But, uh, uh, you know, I think that we're going back and playing somebody that, you know, in 4A this week, and uh, we're getting some guys back, like I said. So, you know, I'm excited to see where we're at as a football team. And, you know, uh, you know. Hopefully, you know, next couple three, three, three weeks, we'll have everybody back. Well, I know you always say you just worry about your team. You can't worry about everybody else and try right. to get them better. I've heard you say that many times. But talk about eight four eight this year since we're entering conference. How do you kind of see and and, and specifically cross it? That's our first game to, to start with, and that is a conference game. Now. Right. Uh, talk about the conference, kind of how you see it shaping up. I mean, you know, it's hard to tell. I, I've not seen, but crossed it play. I haven't seen. I seen Monticello play early uh, in the Hootons Classic, and uh, but I haven't seen anybody else play. And uh, you know, I've seen cross it this week, and they're a much improved team from last year. Uh, uh, they uh, they beat uh, they beat they beat Magnolia first game of the season, and lost to to Fort Ice, and then lost to uh, uh, Dollaway. But they have. Two really good athletes, quarterback number 10, who's about 6'3", 200, who can throw it and run it. And then they have a really good running back at number four who's got 
who's, who's got great speed. So we're going to have a tough challenge for us Friday night, uh, you know, stopping them two guys. But as far as 8-4-8 eight, eight, eight overall, uh, you know, right now, you know, you look at the record, we're 7-17, seven and 17, I think, uh, uh, as a conference. Uh, Star City is the only team that's undefeated. And, uh, you know, 8 4 is always tough. And, um, you know, what, what we did and, and hopefully it's going to help us is so we went out and played three really good football teams that, that prepare us for this. And I think scheme-wise and, and, and defensively scheme-wise that we've seen a lot of stuff. And I think that's going to be to our advantage uh, or I hope it's to our advantage starting this week. Well, we wish you well Friday night. We'll certainly be there, and I hope uh, we'll have a good crowd of Warren folks. It is at CrossFit, so we've got to travel again. Got to right. go down there, and certainly encourage everybody to come out and stay with the Lumberjacks, and let's start this conference race and see if we can't win it. <laughs> yes, right. You know, that's why I told our kids, we're 0-0. Uh, zero zero. Last year at this time, we were 1-1-1. We were one, one and one. Uh, we lost the first week. We were one, two, and one. You know, if we win, we're, we'll be a lot better than we were last year at this point. So, I think our our kids understand that. Good luck. All right, thank you.